Okay, so today's video we're going to be talking about uh, fabricating a, uh, a charger. In this case, this will go to a uh, automobile, and uh, there's a problem. So if you don't drive the data lines and just put power on uh, on the two power wires, um, some devices will draw up to 500 milliamps, which is the USB standard, but others, such as the Apple devices of recent times, let's just put it that way, so I can test with an iPad Air 2 and the iPhone 7 I'm filming on. And, um, yeah, those draw about 80 milliamps, 90 milliamps, so it's disastrously bad. So this is the shot with uh, basically floating data lines. And uh, we can see the voltage, so with no wire, this actually does have some, possibly some, resistors inside but uh, it's not identifying any protocol and if we plug it in so just the wire plugged in um, doesn't have much of an effect and uh, so the residual current is 46 microamps so we can ignore that and we plug in an iOS device this is an iPad Air 2 and it really doesn't like it. So it's drawing 86 milliamps, which, well, I don't know, right? If you want to charge something insanely slowly, then um, it's not bad, but uh, I'd, I'd say even for, for my tastes, right? Usually I like ch charging shit at half an amp, so quite slowly, but at 80 milliamps, an iPad would probably take like two days to charge fully. So back to the main topic now. Exactly, so what I have here is uh, our two uh, divider networks and uh, basically what they're supposed to emulate is the Apple 2.4 volt, 2.4 amp uh, standard and if I bring this meter on, so I'll just get this charged up and uh, as you can see it's driving the data lines at about 2.6 volts, right? Uh, this is a bit of an older Apple charger. This is supposed to be 2.1 amps, so let's look at this one. I really should get a, an extension lead, but yeah. uh, this one dies way faster. So yeah, this one dies way faster, but I could tell you guys, and you're going to have to trust me, this one is 2.1 amps, and it has uh, data plus. Is it? Yeah, so data plus is at 2.6 and data minus is at 1.9. And uh, last but not least, we have uh, this, which is similar to this, which is basically 1 amp. And uh, those are both at 1.7, 1.7. Uh, let's take a quick look at this. So this probably will not have enough charge, but let's see. Eh, it actually will. So you probably saw there, what was it? 1.7 and 1.7, and this is 1.5 amps, which again, eh, one, one amp. So my resistors there are as follows. Uh, the left one I did exactly as, uh, as recommended with, I think it's 47 and uh, 50, 43 and 50. And this one is 10 and 12K, but given that they're in parallel, you end up with these effective resistances between uh, the Case in point is, if I do actually put, um, and I have actually hooked this up the wrong way, which might have been pretty bad because this is 50 bucks. So that could have, could have gone pretty badly, but it does actually have a shunt. Uh, shunt diode inside, so that's fine. Let's actually connect to the wires, not to have them dangle around. So I have a slight issue with this, and maybe you guys can help. I've looked on on the forums and such, not not much help. So um, I'm also getting 2.6 to 2.7, right? Which I don't know, right? I mean, should be fine. I initially I wanted to have just the one, uh, just the one uh, side driven, and then I realized that 
with the data pins completely undriven, it's completely unusable. So I ended up putting some values and meh, it's not optimal, but it is what it is. All right, so I'm back with the wire. And uh, so as you can see, it does actually recognize it as being Apple 2.4 amps, but it also says uh, 1.5 amps, right? So I'm, I don't know, I, I didn't do much research into this, but, and I'm not gonna, right? Because it's, it's fine as it is. But as it stands, this will only charge at about one amp, which is fine, right? I actually don't want it to charge super fast, so it's it's actually okay. What I did realize while editing the video is perhaps the voltage was a bit low, so given the drop across all the wires and shit, the iPad basically and most of uh, modern devices, right, when they notice their voltage at their input being lower than, shit, I don't know, 4.5 or 4.7 or whatever, they stop increasing the current draw, right? And uh, so now there's a bit more, more voltage at the source and I've also beefed up the current, so might have also been current limiting, although I, I highly doubt it. And so now we're connected, the iPad is on, and uh, I did manage to get quite a bit more. So it actually does seem to be working and this no longer is a discussion video. So this is pretty fine. I mean, yeah, maybe we can increase it even a bit more and just nudge it up a notch. I gotta love the precision on this, this meter. So yeah, 5.2. And you can get it to draw mm, two amps, so that's already fine. Does go pretty high, so now I wouldn't be very comfortable plugging this in. Do I do it? I do it. Fuck. I feel like everything Apple Pro now. Well, I mean, I can't really. So this is disastrous. And so the second time it doesn't really like it, so it's mm, it's not too happy. It does show that, that it is charging, but it really doesn't like voltages this high, so let's uh, bring it back down. So basically you want to be aiming for, um, now it's still a bit lower, so 5.2 let's call it. 5.2 and again right this is an iPad Air 2 who the fuck knows how the how the other iPads work and how the other Apple devices Android phones again another unknown but again yeah 5.2 seems to not upset it at uh, startup and you can still get like 9 watts 8.5 I mean it's it's fine you're gonna be fine plus if you charge in a car you really don't want to be shoving as much power as the device can take because if it's anything close to warm in, inside the car, uh, then your phone's gonna catch fire. So that's also 